words define and channel your action. I want to look at first, write this down, the habit of guilt. The habit of guilt. Now some of you ain't writing nothing down because you want to expect a change. I'm keeping it real. All schools ain't for everybody. And all churches ain't for everybody. We didn't all go to the same school because different things inside of us uh, are attracted to other things. And sometimes certain ministries are not for certain people. They don't want that. I haven't told y'all. Brother told me, he said, I know exactly where you're trying to get me to go as a man. He said, but I ain't ready. So habits define and check your actions. We're going to look at the first habit of guilt. What is the habit called? What is the first habit called? Uh -huh. Guilt is fear. Guilt is fear. It has no useful purpose. Guilt is fear. It has no useful purpose. Guilt traps you in your past. Guilt is like fear. Guilt has no purpose. And guilt traps you in your past. You must learn to let go of guilt if you're going to work in the spirit. You cannot work in the spirit world. You don't understand what's going on in this ministry today if you don't first let your guilt go. You see, people can't even worship the Lord because they cannot get out of what they did last night. I'm trying, but I can't because I can't stop thinking about what happened last week. Can't stop thinking what happened a month ago. Cannot stop thinking what happened a year ago or years ago. There are some people who never moved because of their past. I'm teaching some deep stuff today. So you can never understand spiritually where God is trying to take you until you first stop feeling so guilty. They don't allow people to make you feel guilty either. Guilt traps you in your past. Everybody... Put your hand on your heart and say, I'm, I'm getting out of prison. I said, lay your hands on yourself. And prophetically, you ain't prophesying to nobody else. Now, let's see if you got power. Speak to yourself and say, I'm getting out of prison. I'm getting out of prison. Uh -huh. Guilt is fear. Come on, believers. What is it? Guilt traps you in your past. And guilt has no purpose. Guilt will mislead you. You must learn to let go of guilt in order to work in the spirit. Guilt is one of the greatest distractions. It pulls your mind from its focus on your desire and makes you ashamed of something that you could not control. You can always tell when people come expecting one thing, but God gives them what they need. Because what you want ain't always what God has need for you. You cannot control some of the things that happen to you. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. Listen, y'all can play that stuff y'all want to. You can try to act like everything happened to me is his fault. Yeah. <laughs> or it's her fault. But the truth of the matter is, some things that happened to you had to happen to you. And it didn't have nothing to do with nobody else's fault. It was God trying to get you to understand. Let's, 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 keep going, let's keep going. Guilt pulls your mind from its focus. You can be in church right now, 
But if you cannot get your mind off of the guilt, you will receive nothing that I'm saying. Okay, it's sort of like this. It's sort of like a brother that has an affliction and his house is across the street from the hospital. You want some more? It's, some, it's sort of like the son who, whose mother is a teacher, but he don't go to school. Can, can, can I talk to y'all up in here? Okay, so it's sort of like coming to church, asking God to save me, and salvation is present, but because you're in the place, that does not mean you always understand the place where you're at. So because of guilt, people cannot receive what's really placed out for them, which is nothing but blessings. God has nothing but blessings for you. What did I say? God wants to bless you so that he wants your blessings to overtake you. Wherein you got to bless somebody. God wants you to be so blessed that when you open your mouth, people just be saying, oh, and you be saying, well, did I say anything awesome? I, just, I mean, God wants you to be so blessed that when you show up, people are giving you compliments and you say, wait a minute, I'll just do this. I ain't got nobody here. So y'all ain't blessed. Y'all know about this. But God wants you so blessed that you walk in places and people just start giving you things. God wants you so blessed that when you go to fill out paperwork, people say, listen, don't even worry about that. I got you. See, some of y'all ain't living no blessed life. God wants you so blessed that you can take and walk on uh, uh, car locks with bad credit. And you looking at them like, yo, this about to be a joke in here as soon as you type my name in that jar. And you saying, you mean to tell me they just passed a law from the head that we have to accept 10 people in a see God will open up doors for you if you just start understanding who I am, where I'm going and what it's going to take to get there guilt pulls your mind and your focus away from things Guilt makes you feel ashamed. When the truth of the matter is, everybody that showed up looked just like you. Guilt will make people think that these people up in the front is better than the ones sitting in the back. Don't you play with me up in this church. Guilt will cause people to put on facades like they got it all together because guilt can cause you to perform and act like you got something that you really I'm going to see who's going to jump up in here or here you can always tell a guilty person uh, I got one person because whenever somebody's guilty they're going to prove to you that they were the one that did not do exactly what I got another thing. Whenever somebody is guilty, they always going to try to make people think something that's not true. Guilt. You see, people who go to you and say, I'm sorry, I apologize, they can tell us what you think about. But when a person is guilty, they always going to try to prove. Yes. 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 Look at somebody say, you know, say they ain't got to prove they something to nobody. Yes. Just say they ain't, so they won't think you're talking about them. Say they ain't got to prove nobody. Yes. You ain't got to prove nothing to nobody when a person is guilty. Uh -huh. 